What's happening everybody? My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi, and in behind me we have a 2016 Audi SQ5 that belongs to Kyle from Rider Performance. We are back at Racing Greed because we're going to see how much power this thing actually makes. If you're a subscriber, you may have actually seen when we took this thing to Mission Raceway and we tested it out in the quarter mile. We saw what it did completely stock, then we went to stage 191 as well as stage 193, all from integrated engineering. After that, we then tossed on an air intake system to see how much quicker it went with that hardware mod. We were very, very impressed. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how much power it actually made in order to achieve those times and those trap speeds. We're gonna do a little something extra today as well. I had a comment from one of my previous videos that gave a lot of the power increase, a lot of the performance increase from utilizing the TCU tune from Integrated Engineering. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get a baseline, completely stock. The only modification to this car is that air intake system. Then once we've done that, we're only going to tune the ECU with Integrated Engineering's Stage 191 Octane. Once we have those numbers, we're then going to flash the transmission as well with Integrated Engineering's TCU tune. That's gonna raise the rev limit up to 7200 RPM. We're really gonna be able to stretch the legs and see how much more power we can make up in that top part of the power band. Once we've seen the 91 octane file numbers, we're gonna step it up to the big boy, the 93 octane file, just the ECU alone. Then we're gonna see those numbers. Then finally, the top number of the day is going to be the 93 octane file, also paired with the transmission tune, which again is going to raise the rev limit to 7200. And what we're hoping to prove today is just how effective that transmission tune is from Integrated Engineering to see how much more power we get in that upper part of the revs. Besides that, we always love to hear these three liter supercharged V6 motors whine away with that integrated engineering intake to see how much louder it is rather than using that stock intake. So enough of my talking, you know what's going on. Let's get to these dyno runs. Before I go over these stock numbers, I just wanted to let you guys know it is three degrees Celsius outside and negative 750 DA. So we're going to make a lot of power out of this SQ5 today. Lastly, I wanted to let you know, this is an all wheel drive Mustang dyno showing uncorrected numbers today. Showing some very, very smooth power delivery out of this 2016 Audi SQ5. We managed 286 wheel horsepower, 285 foot-pounds of torque from this completely stock other than an integrated engineering air intake system. So the first step we're taking is just flashing the ECU alone with Integrated Engineering's Stage 1 91 octane tune and we'll see how much power we can make with just that. So these first set of tuned results is stage one, 91 octane with no TCU tune. We saw a fantastic gain of 61 wheel horsepower and 42 foot pounds of torque. 347 wheel, 327 foot pounds of torque. Those are some incredibly smooth graphs. Very, very clean power delivery up from 286 and 285 when it was stock. But as you guys can see, it only went to 62.73 and it actually died just shy of that, probably about 61.50. So now we're gonna tune the car with the 7200 RPM TCU tune. 
Integrated Engineering offers multiple different styles of launches. We chose the aggressive launch, which will not change my dyno results, but the shift points are now 7200 RPM, as you can see. So now we have a stage one 91 octane ECU tune paired with a TCU tune. How much more horsepower do you guys think it made? This is a very interesting one for me because of the discussions that I've had previously with other people commenting on my videos saying that the reason this car was so fast was mainly to do with the TCU tune and the bulk of the power was made up top. Sorry dude, I've now proven you wrong. By raising that red line by 1,000 RPM, we managed another 13 wheel horsepower and one foot-pound of torque. Still very, very impressive numbers for only a stage one 91 octane tune. And as you guys can see, it did want to pull harder and higher and it kept going up all the way up to about 7150 was about the red line when it decided to shift. Another thing I wanted to discuss is we see a little bit of undulation here in the power. The bypass valve did open between about 6000 and 6600 RPM. So there was a little bit of dips here that if that bypass valve wasn't opening, it would have been a bit smoother, but it did not have a huge dip. Still very, very convincing results and very impressive for a stage 191 tune and a TCU tune from Integrated Engineering. So we've got the transmission tune removed. We're back to a stock transmission, but this time we stepped it up to stage 193 octane. Let's see what this SQ5 can do. Another three runs down, this time using just an ECU to an integrated engineering stage one 93 octane. Now even with a higher octane fuel, now that we've knocked a thousand RPM out of the top, we actually made seven wheel horsepower less and one foot pound of torque more. Very, very close, but also showing that that extra thousand RPM does gain you a handful of horsepower. Very clean pulls as per usual. The car is running extremely well and time for our final runs of the day. Final runs of the day are complete using integrated engineering stage one 93 octane paired with their 7200 RPM TCU tune and we had some fantastic results. We managed to gain an additional 20 wheel horsepower and one foot pound of torque with that additional 1000 RPM. What you can also see is this dip up top and according to the logs, the bypass valve did open so it wasn't as smooth a run. Something similar that we saw on my B8 S4 in these incredible conditions, but look at those pulls. Very, very impressive. We managed 373 wheel horsepower power and 328 foot-pounds of torque with integrated engineering stage one 93 octane tune as well as their 7200 rpm tcu we gained a massive 87 wheel horsepower and 43 foot-pounds of torque today from just a stage one tcu and ecu tune there are the graphs from start to finish where we started the day very low down low for the per perforated line and up top with the solid lines is where we finished now the car revving out to a healthy 7200 rpm very very impressive gains today 
there you have it guys, some incredible results today here at Racing Greed in Kyle from Rider Performance's 2016 Audi SQ5. Proof yet again to people why I always tell you to flash your TCU as well as your ECU when you tune your cars. You get a little more out of them. This one in particular, because it's supercharged, it needs all those RPMs up top to get a bit more power, but the brunt of your power is gained down low and throughout the mid-range. You squeak out a bit more up top if you tune your TCU as well. But I also encourage you to do it because you get a very cool launch control feature with integrated engineering. You can choose from the street file, the aggressive file, or the race file. When Kyle was on track with this thing, he was using the aggressive file while he was still using his stock wheels and tires that came with the vehicle. So I imagine that if you were to bump that up to the race file and you got some stickier, better tires on this thing, you'd have a better, more aggressive launch and go even quicker in the quarter mile. If you haven't seen how quick this car is, check out my previous videos. I'll put the link in the description below of how quick he was able to go from the very beginning when he was completely stock and on that same day we switched it to the stage 191 tune and then the stage 193 tune as well. It's a very, very cool video if you haven't seen it. Thank you very, very much to all of you for watching and until next time, take care.